Hey guys, I'm so excited that you're here and very excited that you're considering or maybe you've already purchased my savings tracker for 2021 for Notion. Now there's a few things to help you get started. Um, this savings tracker uses Notion. Now I have in the past used Excel to track all of my savings, but it has its limitations and it's a little bit clunky. So I really have appreciated the um, ease to use Notion and it has an app for your phone. I would highly suggest downloading that as well because you can just go right in there and enter your savings information right there from Ibotta and Kroger Cashback and all the different places that you save. And you can even upload a receipt, a copy of it, if you'd like to store those in Notion. Notion, everything is stored online, so it's not stored on your phone or on your computer. So you can get to it from either spot. So you'll notice that here's my savings tracker, but you can't do anything in it because we have to first duplicate it to your workspace. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to notion.so and create your workspace. After you have entered your email and they'll send you a password and you put that in and they will give you your own workspace that looks like this. So it's kind of doesn't look like much of anything and it actually has some instructions to help you get started and see what you can do with Notion. But since I've already created this, you don't have to create your own template for tracking all of your savings. So what you're going to do is you're going to press duplicate and you're going to say, okay, I want it to go to this workspace. And it'll take a minute and it'll appear. So you're getting started information that started there with Notion, that'll still be there. But my savings tracker will also be there. And now you can start entering your information. Now there are these gray areas here that are just some basic information. Once you've kind of gotten used to how to work this, you can actually click on these bars over here and press delete and those will go away. That'll just make your template a little cleaner, but you can keep them on there if you want to. So say I went to Walmart and I purchased oops, some things and it is January. Oops, got to find it. Oh, I can't find it. It's probably there. I'll just start typing January. There we go. There it is. And I always just click outside of the box and it'll go away. So I went there, I had a dollar in hand coupon I can see on the bottom of my receipt here and say I spent $15.65. Now I had, I bought a rebates that totaled $12, let's say. And I had something on coupons.com for a dollar. And I just start filling in whatever of these fields. There is also a field for shop kick points. And I can put in there, say I got 400 points. It'll automatically show you shop kick in dollars. It'll automatically pop up. So say I put it on to fetch and made 25 points there, that's three cents. Now at the bottom here, you can click that new receipt, new receipt button and you can add your image of your receipt if you would like to. I'm not going to do it on here because this is my computer. This is not my phone. And when you're done filling all that information, just click outside of it. It'll show up right here. And now it's going to start showing that in January, so far, I have spent $15.63 and I have saved 94%. So... I just kind of put those there. I should probably put in there that you, how much you actually spent after savings, but I didn't do that. But you can click in there and see it. Then you'll also be able to go down here 
and start seeing, let's see here, we did an Ibotta. It'll show up right here that we saved $12 so far at I, um, with Ibotta. But let's say I also went to Kroger. And it is still January. And I actually use some of my Kroger cash back. Now that's gonna show up on your coupons, but I like to separate that out. So say I had $6 in Kroger cash back, say I had $3 in in-hand coupons, and my amount I spent was $20, and I had an Ibotta rebates of $7, and I put it into fetch and I got 25 points. And I've also included Moby and Field Agent. And if you don't know what some of these things are, I'll show you how to get them in just a minute here. But so that's what I did. And it actually shows you on the bottom too what my total savings were and what my percentage is. So now I've got two receipts there. And um, it's adjusted it for January here. And then you will notice that when you go to Kroger Cashback, it'll actually show me that I had $6 in Kroger Cashback. So because I decided to put the Walgreens Cash Register Rewards, Extra Care Bucks, and Kroger Cashback as savings when you use them, because sometimes I forget to use them. I don't know if you're the same way, but I've had expired ECBs. So if I don't use them, then I lose them, right? So that just kind of shows that. After you've started to enter in more and more information, a lot of these things will start to populate more and more information. Now, I'm not able to show how much the savings are right here because that's one thing that Notion is a little bit weaker than Excel. Excel, I, you can actually relate ta um, actual information from one cell, whereas Notion, we cannot on one cell. So say you're going, what is coin out? I've actually included links so you can find out what coin out is or DOSH or Moby, Field Agent, any of those. So I hope you enjoy saving lots of money this year in 2021 and I hope the savings tracker will help you track all those savings in case you wanna use them for some big trip or something this year. All right, talk to you later, bye.